In this worksheet, we're going to practice calculating HDI or IHD or sites of unsaturation. Uh, we'll be coming up with formula, uh, structures that are consistent with calculated HDIs, and then we're also going to analyze some mass spec data. Starting with problem one, we have C4H8 as our formula. The HDI is calculated by taking the number of carbon atoms times 2, which is 8, plus 2, which is 10. This is the maximum amount of hydrogen we could have in the molecule. And then we subtract the number of hydrogen that we actually have, which is 8, and divide that number by 2, which gives us an HDI of 1. That means that we have one ring or one double bond, so we could draw a molecule with a ring, four carbons in a ring. We could draw a molecule with a double bond. There's two possible structures. Those are, of course, not the only two structures, just coming up with two options. Moving on to this problem number two, C6H10O2, number of carbon atoms times two is 12, plus two is 14. We subtract the number of hydrogen that we have, which gives us four, and then we divide by two. The HDI for this is two. That means that we have two rings, or we have uh, a ring with a double bond. And then don't forget, we've got a couple of oxygen that we need to account for. Or maybe we have a straight chain with two double bonds. The double bonds don't have to be with carbons. They could be with oxygens. If you feel kind of unsure about proposing these structures, you can always count to make sure you've got all the right carbons and hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens, two oxygens. Six carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogen, two oxygen. Our next one, C7H8NCL, the HDI is two times the number of carbon atoms plus two, which is 16. Subtract the number of hydrogen atoms that we have, which is eight. Subtract the halogens, we have one. Add one for nitrogen, that brings us back up to eight. Divide by two is four. When you have an HDI of four, that typically corresponds to a benzene ring. A benzene ring is a ring with three double bonds, which corresponds to four. It's not the only option, but it's the most common option. So I'm gonna draw a benzene ring. We need one more carbon atom. We also need a chlorine and we need a nitrogen. We've got to make sure that our nitrogens always have three bonds like that. So that's one possible structure. Um, another structure, maybe my nitrogen has that seventh carbon on it. And there's my chlorine, something like that. So now we're going to apply this to actual mass spec data. We're going to use the rule of 13 to determine the molecular formula, and then from there calculate the HDI, and then from there come up with a, a structure. So first thing we've got to do, use the rule of 13 to come up with a formula. That's going to come from the M plus peak. So we've got to zoom in and find this M plus peak. This is 114. M plus is 114. The rule of 13 says that we are going to take that 114, divide it by 13. That's going to give us roughly the number of carbon atoms in the molecule, 8.7, 8.8. Normally, with the rule of 13, you always want to round down. Sometimes that's not going to be the case, but we're going to... Uh, and, and when it's kind of close, like in this case, 8.8 .8 is pretty close to 9, makes me kind of want to round up, but I'm going to follow the rule, round down. We'll know very quickly if that was a, a bad idea. So once we get um, the number of carbon atoms, then we are going to use 114 to figure out the number of hydrogen atoms. So we're going to say the mass is 114. We have eight carbon atoms. Each carbon atom has a mass of 12. 8 times 12 is 96, 114 minus 96 is 18 hydrogen. Um, if this carbon atom is supposed to actually be 9, this number of hydrogen atoms is going to be an impossible number of hydrogen atoms for this many carbons. 
So we're going to, we're going to say tentatively, our formula is C8H18. We're going to calculate HDI. And if we get a crazy number for HDI, we'll know that the number of carbon atoms was wrong. So for HDI, we'll take the number of carbon atoms, multiply it by two, which is 16, and add two, which is 18. Um, and look, that's how many hydrogen we calculated. So that means we did the right thing by rounding down to eight. Subtract the number of hydrogen we already have, uh, or we actually have, I mean, and that gives us zero, an HDI of zero. So that means this molecule has no double bonds and no rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe it's just a straight chain, eight carbon alkane. Let's take a look at our next example. So this, first thing we need to do is come up with a formula uh, finding our M plus peak, which is right in this area, this guy right here, the M plus peak is at 79. Now, um, we're going to use the rule of 13 to figure out the number of carbon atoms in the molecule. But remember, the rule of 13 only applies to um, molecules that are hydrocarbons, carbons and hydrogens only. And this molecule, because it has a an odd molecular weight, we know that there's a nitrogen present in the molecule. So before we apply the rule of 13, we have to subtract the nitrogen from that mass of 79. We can't divide by 13 until all that we have left um, is just a mass of carbons and hydrogens together. So we're gonna take the molecular weight and subtract the nitrogen so that we get down to 65. 65 is the mass of the carbons and hydrogens and that we can do the rule of 13 on. Divide by 13 gives us exactly five. So we know that we have one nitrogen, we have five carbons to come up with the total um, number of hydrogen in the molecule, we're going to go back to our original molecular weight. We're going to subtract 14 for that nitrogen. We're going to subtract 5 times 12 for those carbon atoms. 79 minus 14 minus 60 is 5. 5 hydrogen. This gives us a formula of C5H5N. Now we can calculate HDI, um, the number of carbon atoms, times 2 plus two is 12. Subtract the number of hydrogens that we actually have, which is five, that takes us down to seven, and then add one for the nitrogen, brings us up to eight, divide by two is four. Remember when we have an HDI of four, it is most likely benzene. Now, this is only five carbon atoms, I just drew six. Um, you can have the nitrogen inside that ring. You may not know that, so you may be thinking, oh my gosh, I never would have guessed that. That's okay, because you could have come up with um, a molecule that had an HDI of four. You could have had like, let's see, triple bond, carbon-carbon triple bond, um, and then another carbon-carbon triple bond, C, N. I'm going to throw some hydrogens on there. One, two, three, four, Five. There we go. Let's see what we have left. Uh, this one. Okay, so our molecular weight is 126. And we know that we have chlorine, which is a mass of 35. So we're going to go 126 minus 35. We've got to get rid of that chlorine from the mass before we can divide by 13. That takes us down to 91. Once we get rid of that chlorine, we can use the rule of 13. It brings us down to seven carbon atoms, one chlorine atom for the number of hydrogens, 126 minus 35 for the chlorine, minus seven times 12 for all those carbons. 126 minus 35 minus 7 times 12 is 7 hydrogen. So this gives us a formula of C7H7Cl. For the HDI, 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16. Minus the number of hydrogen that we actually have, minus the chlorine, divided by 2 is an HDI of 4. So let's do a benzene ring with carbon number seven and a chlorine on it. 
Um, oh, we are only needing to come up with one possible structure. And I think that we have one more to go. Um, this one, which is a mass of 30, 35, 140, and no indication of any other atoms that are present, or any hetero atoms that are present. So we're going to go straight to the rule of 13. 140 divided by 13 is 10.8, which I'm going to call 10 carbon. Now let's figure out how many hydrogen we have. 140 minus 10 times 12 is 20. 20 hydrogen. And that gives us a molecular formula of C10H20. Let's calculate our HDI. 10 times 2 is 20 plus 2 is 22. Minus 20 is 2. Divided by 2 is 1. That's like a tongue twister. So we have 10 carbon atoms with a HDI of 1. Like I want to say maybe it's a 6 carbon ring with one, two, three, four more carbons attached to it, something like that.